Hello, I am Malinta from WSO2 Engineering team and welcome to the third tutorial on quick tour of API Manager Micro Gateway. In the first and second tutorials, you learned creating and running micro gateways locally and invoking the APIs. In this tutorial, we will look at running a micro gateway in Docker and Kubernetes environments. We have several prerequisites in this tutorial. You need to have Docker installed on your laptop. And also, you need to install Minikube which runs a single node Kubernetes cluster inside a VM locally. Plus, you need to have kubectl which is the Kubernetes command line tool. First, let's run a micro gateway in a Docker container. We need to create a file containing the relevant deployment configurations such as Docker image name and registry and etc. I have created a similar file called docker deployment conf. Here I have used the name as petstore API and also we need to change the source correctly to point to the toolkit path in the local machine. Now let's set up a project for the petstore API. Specify the name as petstore. The version as 1.0.0 and additionally you need to provide the path to the deployment configuration file using minus t or minus minus deployment con flag then build the project During the build process, a docker image will be created including the micro gateway. You can start it by running the above suggested command. Now the docker instance is successfully started and you can see it by running docker ps command. To invoke the API, we need to have the IP of the running docker instance. We can get it by running docker inspect command using the container id. Now let's invoke the fetch store API. So we successfully got the response. Next, let's run the micro gateway in a local single node Kubernetes cluster using Minikube. I have started Minikube using Minikube start command. If you run Minikube status, you can see that the cluster is running properly. Similar to what we did previously in Docker, we need to have a configuration file enabling Kubernetes deployment, service and config map resources. I have created a similar file called ktestdeployment.conf. I have used deployment name as API deployment and service name as API service and also fix the belrinor.conf to point to the toolkit path in your local machine correctly. Now let's set up the project Petstore API providing the path to the deployment configuration file. Now build the project. During the build process, a docker image will be created including the micro gateway and also a set of Kubernetes artifacts including deployment and service will be created. You can see the docker image by running docker images command. I 
I do not have a shared docker registry between the local Kubernetes node and my local machine. So I need to transfer the docker image to the Kubernetes node. For that, first save the docker image into a tar file using docker save command. Now we need to copy the tar file to the Kubernetes node using the scp command. For this, we need to have identity file and the IP of the Kubernetes node. Using minikube ssh key, we can get the identity file. And using minikube ip, we can get the IP of the Kubernetes node. I'll copy the cp command and run it using above values. I'll use docker as the username. And I'll use the one got as identify. SCP command is successful. Now I'll log into the Kubernetes node using minikube ssh and docker run docker load command. Now let's run kubectl apply command pointing to pet store target Kubernetes to deploy the Kubernetes artifact created during the micro gateway build process. Now the artifacts are successfully deployed. We can run minikube service pet store api service minus minus url to retrieve the url of the pet store api. Now let's run the curl command to invoke the api. This concludes the tutorial on running a micro gateway in Docker and Kubernetes environments. Thanks for watching.